Hi everyone, it's Andre Noel Potman from InfoFit Educators, and today I want to talk to you about the lunge. Now, there, many times I see people in the gym starting off with the lunge as an exercise, and it's a little too advanced for them. How do you know? Well, first, we, we take a look at what a lunge is. When a lunge technically is when you take a step, you land, and then you thrust back. That's a lunge. So oftentimes, uh, I see people starting off with this exercise, but we know it's too advanced for them because this is what tends to happen with their blades. They land and their knee collapses and, and moves and wobbles in and out. So that means that the leg isn't used to landing with two times its body weight in that particular position. So what you want to do is modify the, the lunge to a stationary lunge, also known as a split squat. So let's set up the split squat. First, you're going to need a mat. Then what you do is you take a step over the mat and then you kneel down. Now you want the front foot to not be on the same line as the back of the knee. You want it to be back to the side here. So what you also want to do is have the knee over the ankle and have the front leg. And then the back knee, you want it to be underneath the, the hip of the back uh, other way. So from this position, then you stand. Now, the, again, you want the hip width apart so that the toe, the knee, and the hip are all in alignment from the front foot as well as the back foot. Now, when you do the stationary uh, lunge or a split squat, it's really a good idea to start off slow. So you come down as low as you can to the mat, you hold it there for five seconds, and then you raise back up hold it down and then raise back up. This will really work our legs um, quite effectively up to 12 reps. Now, let me turn to the side and show you how you can change this to affect one leg over the other. So, one, you want proper spinal alignment. So, you put a stick on your client's back, on your back, and so you have your head, your shoulders, and your, your butt all in connection with both. <laughs> then you kneel down. Now, if you lean back, the back leg gets a lot of the work. If you lean forward, keeping the spine in alignment like this, the butt gets a lot of the work, and so does the front leg. So if you want to really challenge your butt and build your butt, this would be a good position for doing a split squat. Again, tracking the knee over the no further than past the, uh, the front toes. Right, so five second pause down at the bottom, to get to 12 reps of that, we're going to do 12 reps of that, then you start adding some extra weight. Finally, once you get good at that, you can start progressing back to the lunge. So how you would do that is you start off in the lunge position and then you start thrusting and catching, thrusting and catching. So that prepares your leg for doing the, uh, the full lunge. Well, that's another episode, episode 17, a modification of the lunge. Happy training.